Okay, so we want to graph a rational function. Okay, and to graph a rational function, we're going to follow the seven step strategy. The first step is symmetry. So let's take a look back. Let me remind you about symmetry of a function. A function is even if it is symmetric about the y axis. So if you look down here, y equals x squared, this is a mirror image about the y-axis. So the part on the right would flip over the y-axis and give you the part on the left. It could be odd right here, which is f of x equals x to the third, and that's where it's symmetric about the origin. So you would take this part here, you'd flip it once, about the y-axis and then you'd flip it again about the x-axis and you'd end up with that part. So that's odd and then we have the possibility where it is neither. Okay and neither would be like this example over here. If I flipped it over it would look like this right which is not exactly the same. If I flipped it again it's gonna give me something that is this so this is neither so we have three possibilities and we find those possibilities by plugging in a negative x so you see here you're gonna find the f of negative x and the f of negative x if what you get back is exactly the same as what you started with as your original function then it's even if what you get back is the opposite of your original function then it's going to be odd. Otherwise, it's going to be neither. So let's go over and let's look at our example here. We want to find the symmetry of this function right here, this rational function. So what I need to do is I need to find the f of negative x. I'm going to plug in a negative x everywhere where I saw an x. So this was 4x over x squared minus 4. I'm going to plug in a negative x on top and a negative x on the bottom. Okay, everywhere where I saw an x, I'm now plugging in a negative x. Okay, and let's see what happens. In numerator, I'm going to get negative 4x. In the denominator, this is negative x squared, so that's a negative times a negative. Negative x times negative x is positive x squared minus 4. All right, so let's look at this. Is this exactly the same as this one? And the answer is no. It's not exactly the same. Now, is this the exact opposite of this? And the answer to that is yes. If I rewrite this and I take this negative in the numerator and I pull it out in front, it's going to be the opposite of 4x over x squared minus 4. So I'm going to have the opposite of what I started with. So this is going to be odd, okay, which means that it is symmetric about the origin. All right, that's the first part. Let's go look at the second step.